Bowtie and the Kite Kobold Part 1 Bowtie had been busy making lots of rosettes for Lemon Drop's next show. Is this enough? asked Bowtie. Could you just make a few more? replied Lemon Drop. I'll have to get some more ribbon for that, said Bowtie. Pony feathers, all the ribbon bushes are empty, said Bowtie. I'll have to look elsewhere. Then suddenly a spool of red ribbon rolled right under Bowtie's hooves. But as she picked it up, someone seemed to tug at the end of the ribbon. It started to unroll, and Bowtie was forced to follow unless she dropped the spool. Come back, Bowtie, called Rab Rabbit. The ribbon will lead you into great danger. But Bowtie didn't hear. Just then Majesty galloped up and Rab told her what had happened. I must get back to Dream Castle, said Majesty. Back at Dream Castle, Majesty, Rab and Spike watched what was happening to Bowtie. Scales and fire! The ribbon is pulling her into that dark cave, cried Spike. I'm sure someone horrid lives there. You're right. Cobb, the kite kobold. At last, I knew I would catch a little pony, and Bowtie too, just the one I need, said Cobb. Who are you? asked poor Bowtie. I am Cobb, the kite kobold. I need someone to finish my kites. That's you. But I shall never be able to make all these kites, sobbed Bowtie. I hate this dark place. That's because you're a pony and not a kobold. We mine jewels in the dark, mocked Cobb. We only go outside once a year to fly our kites. Every kobold has a kite. I need hundreds. Cobb went out and Bowtie was left all alone. I want ten kites finished by morning, he called from outside. Poor Bowtie. She was so frightened that she just couldn't make the bows to put on the tail kites. She kept dropping them and she just couldn't tie them onto the kite. I shall never get out of here, she wept. I shall never get home again. Will Bowtie remain in the Kite Kobold's cave forever? Find out on a future Tuesday here at Skylark 24.